Hello, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm really not sure how this video is going to go down with you people, but we shall have to see, won't we? This here, that I've got my cursor over, this is the original poster for Han Solo, A Star Wars Story, right? So what the normal theater poster is, the one with the, uh, the iconic DL-44 blaster pistol that Han has had in pretty much every single incarnation, with maybe a few tweaks with a scope on one appearance, not on others. You know, a few minor tweaks to the prop, but, you know, he's always had a DL-44, and it's kind of trying to recreate an iconic Han Solo pose from the original trilogy. Original trilogy. Okay, I dig that. Um, well, according to an article I've read, they changed it from this to this. And they've done it with all of the cast posters. They've taken Hans the old 44 away. They've taken away Chewie's crossbow. They've taken away Lando's pistol. And also the female member of the cast, who I can't remember the name of, because I wasn't paying that much attention when I watched the trailer, because I already knew this movie was going to go down the shitter. So... Yeah, they took her gun away as well. And it's like... Why? Why? Why have they removed something as iconic as the DL44 from a Han Solo movie poster? I just, I just don't get it. I mean, so many of the, so many of the choices Disney have made to do with Star Wars just irritates me. I mean. Star Wars Rebels, for three seasons straight, they didn't show a single death by a lightsaber. And you didn't see any people... None of the heroes died, nothing. There was no tension. I mean, there was one moment in season four where you lost Kanan. And then, like, everybody else made it out, out unscathed. Minus Ezra, who's MIA. So we don't know where he is. But, uh... Just, and now they've pulled this trick. They've removed all the weapons from the uh, from the cinema posters. But I mean, the thing is, let's be honest. Han Solo, the DL44 is iconic as Har Harrison Ford playing the role. So I, I honestly don't know why they thought this was a good idea. And also, like that just looks like any old generic movie poster. Whereas, you look at this, it you, you're like, yeah, that's a Star Wars movie. You know, it's... It's just, uh... Honestly, guys, I don't know. I give up with Disney. They're just... They're... The people running the show, they're, 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 they're stupidity. You just... It just... Perplexes me that people can be so stupid. I mean, why did you buy a franchise with war in the title if you get cold feet about uh, showing guns on your movie uh, your movie posters or actually showing characters die Are you um you kind of don't get the point of war do you and you kind of don't get why People liked Star Wars in the first place. I mean, like, it was a sci-fi slash action fic. Flick, sorry, not fic, flick. And it was loved by a lot of people just for being this space movie with ships and dogfights and... Space wizards with laser swords. I mean, what's gonna be next? You gonna take lightsabers out of the posters? I mean, is that's the next step? And um, you could argue lightsabers do more damage than blasters because they dismember people. They they're pretty nasty weapons if you think about it. 
I mean, Django Effect, when he had his head cut off by Mace, he was still alive for two minutes after that blade cut through his neck because of the way it cauterizes it. In Legends, anyway. That's probably a detail Disney are going to drop from canon because they don't have any balls. I mean, the only film Disney have put out so far that shows they have any balls is Rogue One. They've shown, yeah, okay, nobody survives this mission. Okay, let's just nuke the planet at the end of the movie. I mean, like that that's, yeah, that showed they had balls. They're like, okay, let's take it. Let's take it all the way. Let's respect the original source material that was set up in A New Hope. Whereas, this, I just... I already knew this movie was going to be kind of terrible, but this is concerning me that you have people making these kind of decisions. Uh, I just, whatever, I'm just throwing my hat into the ring with this. Um, honestly, if they keep pulling stuff like this, I'm done. I'm not going to go watch Solo in the theaters. I might buy it on DVD. I might watch it on DVD. Hell, I might not even waste money on it doing that. Um, I just, I'm done. I'm done with Disney Star Wars at the moment. I'm done. The only decent thing you, the only two decent things you've done is the original Darth Vader run and Rogue One. Force Awakens was meh. Last Jedi was trash. And Solo looks like it's going to be trash. And you're doing this with the posters. Which is concerning. I'm, I honestly... I don't know where these people's heads are at. Like you, you buy a franchise that's got war in the title. And you're afraid to show guns on a movie poster. Like They're not even real guns. They fire bright red things. It's... The original Star Wars is we use universal viewing. And many people write them off as kid films. So, you know, what is it? I mean, you can't even make the excuse, oh, it's because the DL4 is made up of a Luger or a Mauser, or whichever one of the two it is. One of my friends is going to slaughter me for that, because he's a real World War II gun nut. But I, I'm... I'm not familiar with the differences between those two. I think it's a Luger it's made, It's built up of. But if that's your excuse, why uh, is Chewie's crossbow gone? Or why is Lando's blaster pistol gone that is blatantly a fictional prop that has nothing even remotely like an actual gun to it? Uh, uh, it's like... Also, it's iconic to the character. Like, it's not even... It's not even in his holster. You can't even see it in his holster. That that's just oh, this. I just I don't know what to say anymore, guys. Um And also some of the comments that have been coming out about Last Jedi, some of the stuff they've been trying to justify it with has just been like it's Oh man, I'm done. Like you fuck up, just admit you fucked up. Don't keep trying to justify it, and then don't proceed to follow it up by pulling stupid shit. I honestly... Oh I don't know. I, I blatantly get the feeling that Disney don't give a shit about teenage or adult audiences anymore, because, like... <sighs> Rebels was kiddish as hell. Um, Rogue One still had its goofy moments. <sighs> Force Awakens was meh. Just a meh movie. I mean, if I'm going to watch that, I'd rather put New Hope in and just watch New Hope. And you've got... I mean, yeah, I was buzzed about Force Awakens at the time, but after, like, about a year of... I watched it again before going to watch Last Jedi, and it's just like, I started to see more of the holes in it, and it's like, my opinion has changed as time's gone on, and also some of the stuff in The Last Jedi and The Last Jedi novelization just friggin' pokes even more holes in Force Awakens, and it's just like, why? Why can't you just leave things alone? The more you try and explain stuff away, the worse you make it. It's... 
I just, uh, and I'm really concerned about this new Star Wars trilogy. I, I was really hyped for it. I was thinking, oh, could it be an Old Republic? Could it be Force Unleashed? Could it be this, that, or the other? Could it be something really good? And then I found out the same. And then I find out the same guy who directed Last Jedi is directing those, and I'm just like, why, 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 why? I just. I'm done, guys. I'm I'm done. Honestly, I'm not gonna go see Solo. I'm skeptical about whatever Episode Nine is titled, because honestly, how do you recover from a dumpster fire? Like, Force Awakens was okay. You had a, you had it set up to the point where you could go anywhere with it, and then they created a dumpster fire. And my honest worry is, how do you fix a dumpster fire? How do you take Episode Nine and make it an absolutely amazing movie with the characters we've got and the character development we've got and all the events that have happened prior? Let me see figures. This is what happens when you write a trilogy as you go. And you have different people writing it. It screws it up. You don't have, like... If you had one guy directing all three, and he had a clear start point in seven, clear end point in nine, clear midpoint in eight, and it flowed through, throughout, exact same tone, exact same style, it would be... Fine. It, none of these problems would have happened, but they've changed director, they've changed tone, they've... I'd even go so far as to say that, like, they've injected politics into it, which... Okay, there were some kind of politicish moments with, um... Force Awakens, but you could probably chalk that up to shitty character development and mere writing but honestly just I'm honestly Last Jedi makes the prequels look good in my opinion and I know all the new I know all the original trilogy fanboys is going to be jumping on my back saying oh how dare you how dare you how dare you say Jar Jar is good how dare you say Jar Jar is good but honestly I would take Jar Jar over Rose Tico <laughs> I'm gonna be blunt and honestly just I don't mind Ray. she they fixed some of her problems in Last Jedi and her and Kylo were basically the highlights of Last Jedi they were the only decent things in it and there was a couple of deleted scenes that were taken out well that actually make it even better and I'm just thinking why did these get deleted they're better than the whole Canto Bite thing. Just delete Canto Bite. Just delete Canto Bite. Don't. If you want to get rid of the pacing issues and like, just delete Canto Bite and then be like focusing on this. It's just. Uh, oh my god. I'm worried. This thing is Star Wars has been a part of me. It's been a part of me since I was four years old. I asked my dad, like, I saw this box set of Star Wars in the the macro when I was four years old. And I said, Dad, what's Star Wars? Dad looked at it, saw the price of it, picked it up, put it on the macro conveyor belt. And we sat and we watched episode four together at my grand's. Um, then a few weeks later, I watched episode five by myself then I watched episode 6 with my dad uh, the day after that I think something like that I know I watched them I know I watched them like in a pretty close proximity to each other and like I watched two with my parents one on my own it's like they you know because when I was four I was I wasn't entirely sure how to get the DVD player to work, so it's like, 
because we had one of these DVD players that was like a tape and a DVD player, and it was like it always used to confuse me that you had like different buttons for the. Yeah, but that that's irrelevant. Um, Jesus Christ! I've just thought nothing has tape recorders anymore. Jesus, I feel old, and I'm only like what seventeen? Fucking hell! <laughs> this video. I've got another video coming out soon. It's a comic book carnage video, and it's gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be hopefully a bit better than this. And um, yes, I have fixed my mic issues, or rather, it's resolved itself. I just turned my computer on today, and it's fine. I have no fucking clue what it's done, but it's apparently fixed itself. I just, I give up. <laughs> oh man, I'm literally, I'm not going to watch Han Solo. I'm skeptical about episode 9, so I'll have to wait for the trailers. I just, honestly guys, I think outside of games in the old movies, I might be done. Like, like Dash and a couple of the other Star Wars YouTubers, I might have found the point where I'm done. And I just stick with what I already had and read all the stuff. Because, I mean, like, some of the comics are good. Like, don't get me wrong. The Thrawn's been pretty solid so far. So was the original Vader. Haven't read Aphra. Didn't like her as a character. Uh, Maul sounds a good concept. It was a short mini. Poe Dameron is apparently a pretty good comic. Uh, didn't read Phasma. Again, didn't care much for Phasma. Bob is a better character than Phasma. Um... Like, you know, and then there's older comics that I've been picking up. Like, I've been trying to find the rest of the Old Republic comics. Because I've really been getting into the Old Republic MMO and the KOTOR games again. So, yeah. Anyway, guys. I just thought I'd make this video for my hat in the ring. And I'll see you in the next one.